Welcome back to Simple Life with Chris and Tara. Today, I'm going to show you what we got at Walmart. I am excited to show you what we got in this haul simply because we have lots of canning items. And so in order to find our canning items, we had to go to several different Walmarts to find the items. And then also we were able to go ahead and order online and got some canning items as uh, canning supplies as well. So these items that we have, um, a lot of them are just going to be items that we are adding to our prepper pantry. Um, we are restocking um, items that we have used out of it. And, and also, you know, we are uh, in the process of storing up for long-term storage, which I hope you all are doing as well. It's very important to go ahead and start preparing your home and your family for whatever may come. And if for some reason, um, you know, nothing happens and there, you know, there's no big food outages or shortages, well then it's okay because you never know when something in your own personal life might happen where you need to rely on your food, uh, your food that you might have stocked up or maybe it's going to save you from having to go make a trip to Walmart or to Aldi or to the grocery store, wherever it might be. It's just a good item to always have uh, a backup plan for your life and for your home and for your family and when it comes to food and water um, and say like canning supplies. And now that it's canning season, you know, it's hard to find canning items. So you want to make sure you have some stocked up. So when it comes time for you to do your canning or your fermenting or even just storing food in jars, um, you will have the items that you need to work with. So let's go ahead and I'll turn you guys around and I'll go ahead and show you what we got at Walmart. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will start down here on the bottom left. I really want to start up there and show you all of our canning supplies because I'm very excited about those. But let's go ahead and start down here. So first off, we do have a package of this cafe, and I don't even know how to pronounce this correctly, but cafe Bastello coffee, I believe. So I got these for my grandson. It's a Gerber oatmeal and barley apple cinnamon uh, breakfast cereal, and then these two mashed potatoes and gravy with roasted chicken and carrots and then over here we got one two three four five five packages of the marina pure cane sugar and i think they were eight yes eight pound bags now we um really don't use sugar that much but when we do our canning for making our jellies and jams uh that's when the sugar comes into play and over here is the diamond long reach matches and we have two boxes of those two boxes they're 10 pack each of the raid fly ribbon strips you know the strips you hang up from like a ceiling or somewhere that catches flies if you have animals around then you know that you always have flies a package of these catch master glue boards and these are great if you have trouble with like spiders or uh brown recluse to stick these out like around your bathroom and your kitchen area and then a bottle of the 100% pure maple syrup, and I think this was like a, yeah, 32 ounce bottle, so that's a good sized bottle of syrup. And this Krusty's buttermilk um, pancake mix. What we're gonna go ahead and do, we will stick this in um, a jar and probably put some bay leaves in there and then this seal them up and that'll keep them, keep the bugs out. By breaking this down and sticking it in smaller containers, it'll be more manageable and be able to keep it fresher longer because this is a 10, 10 pound bag of buttermilk pancake mix. Two of the mom's best quick oats. And then King Arthur is one of our brands of flowers that we do like to have. And this is the two of the all purpose unbleached. I got two bags of those. And let's skip over here to some rice. So here's a rice we got. Um, five pound bags of rice. So here we have the basmati and then another basmati. And then this one here is the jasmine rice and they are five pounds each. And then here again, this is where we will um, stick these in like jars. And we have a vacuum sealer that we has a jar attachment and then it'll go ahead and just suck the air out of the jar. So your rice will stay fresher longer. And then we have two boxes of the minute rice and there's, I think they're both uh, jasmine. Yeah. So they're uh, two 12 ounce boxes of the minute rice. And we were really liking this uh, rice just for a quick, you know, a quick meal when you're wanting to use some rice. There's a jasmine rice. And then we have over here two, well actually three bottles of 100% juice. We have cranberry grape, two bottles of those. 
and then the white grape juice. And usually we like to have um, uh, just 100% grape juice as well. And then Chris likes to uh, mix up his white grape juice and uh, just regular old plain grape juice and kind of mixes it up a little bit, makes his own little mixture of juice. And then we got some more uh, pinto beans to put in our jars and use the vacuum sealer to seal those up. So we have an eight pound bag of pinto beans and then a package of the Great Northern beans, which is only a two pound bag. And then a two pound bag of the black beans. Now we are going to go ahead and um, can some more of our beans up as well, not just storing them in the jars. And then down here we have uh, three jars of the organic creamy peanut butter. I think they're all 16 ounce. Yeah, 16 ounce cans. And this Kinder's brand of seasoning, we're really liking the Kinder's brand of seasoning. This is the buttery steakhouse blend. And uh, let's see, this is, yeah, 5.5 ounce. And then this, uh, I've never had these before. Seeds of Change Organic Brown Basmati Rice. And then the Seeds of Change Organic Quinoa Brown Rice. So um, there again, they're just like for lunch, you know, for at home by myself. And there's for lunch, I'll take some of these and then I will add uh, veggies on top or even like frozen vegetables on top. And so this is a good quick meal. And then we're adding some more tuna. We have uh, one package of sriracha, spicy Thai chili, ranch, lemon pepper, herb and garlic, and then the sweet and spicy. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six packages of tuna we are adding, adding to the pantry. And then here is more coffee. There's one and then two, three packages of the organic coffee to set, it, to set aside. So this time around, I'm trying out the Great Value 64 loads, and we'll see how that how we like that. And Love Beauty and Planets, we're really liking the shampoo conditioner. So I got two big bottles of these. They're pump bottles, which is great, and they are each uh, 20.25 fluid ounce. And let's go back here. Okay, so the Arm and Hammer Super Washing Soda. We actually got this for Chris because he uses this in his e tank when he cleans and restores cast iron, which we are gonna have a video out soon. Um, he's gonna show you the whole process and setting up one. You have to excuse my guinea in the background. Okay, anyway, she's a little upset. So that is why we got our Arm & Hammer Laundry Booster Super Washing Soda. And then we got, we did get a jug of the um, apple cider vinegar. Now this vinegar um, is, you know, just a plain apple cider vinegar. It doesn't have the mother in it, but this is a great one to go ahead. And like if you're going to give it to their animals or say, um, if you're going to do a rinse for your hair, it's, um, you know, you don't have to have the mother in it just to rinse your hair out. So that is why we got a jug of the plain apple cider vinegar. That's what we use that for. And then now the Bragg's apple cider vinegar that does have the mother in it. So I got three jars of the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And this is what I will use my water when I have vinegar in my water. And then also it is great to use in salad dressings. And then this time around, we didn't get very many canned items because you know we haven't really been using too many of the canned vegetables lately because we've been uh, using fresh vegetables like out of the garden and from like farmer's markets and stuff. So we really didn't have too many to replace, but, but we did buy five cans of vegetables the organic great value brand of vegetables, which we're really liking the, um, we really like their organic brand of canned vegetables. So we got one can of corn, two cans of green beans, and then two peas. And now over to our canned meat items. So a lot of you know that we like the Keystone brand of meat. Now to us, Keystone brand of meat is, is good. And that's the best thing you can get. If you don't have your own canned meat that you've canned yourself, you processed yourself, or if you don't have fresh meat, then the Keystone meat in a can is where it's at. Um, they taste really good. And the ingredients, well, I'll show you. Let me show you what we have first of all. We got two cans of the chicken. And then one, two, three cans of the uh, beef. And then one, two, three cans of the pork. And then let me go ahead and show you the ingredients. Here's the pork one. So. And the ingredients you can see, all it is is pork and sea salt. And then the same for the beef is just beef and sea salt. So they're a really good item to um, use like this here, the beef, 
Uh, we like to have like beef and noodles and then mashed potatoes, you know, and then add vegetables to it or whatever. But it's so good to have, mix it with noodles, and then you can put your beef and noodles on top of your mashed potatoes. That makes a great meal. Or like the pork or even the beef, we have made sandwiches, like add barbecue sauce to them and have a barbecued pork sandwich or even a beef sandwich. And we've also made um, like with the, the chicken, we have done stir fries, we have done soups, but so many different uh, meals out there you can make with these meats. And they are very, I mean, these are, how big are they? 28 ounces. So they're a nice big size can and they will go a long way. Um, you probably can make uh, two meals out of one can. You know, if you're trying to be frugal, you can definitely make two meals out of one can. And then now we also have one, two, three, four cans of the Spam Two, I'm not sure how I did that, but two of them are made with real bacon. The other two are just less sodium. I'm not, I don't think I meant to get the one that had bacon, but I don't know that we've ever had that one. So we'll go ahead and try it and, and see how it is. Then down here, we got two cans of the SpaghettiOs and meatballs to put back. And then one jar of the grass-fed ghee clarified butter. So ghee is one of our choices we like to use when cooking or we'll use butter or we'll use avocado oil or olive oil. So ghee is another one that we like to use. And then we did go ahead and get some olive oil and avocado oil. Now, if you've never had avocado oil, this is, um, we quit using vegetable oils a long time ago. Canola, no canola oils, no vegetable oils. And so these are great options to use instead of those oils. The avocado oil has, um, like for baking, you know, that is what we use instead of, like in place of your vegetable oil, your canola oil. So this is a great option because you can't taste it. Now the, the extra virgin olive oil, I wouldn't use that necessarily in baking, like if you're gonna make something sweet because that has a more stronger flavor than your avocado oil does. But we also use our avocado oil when we're doing vegetables and meat and stuff as well. And then down here, we have two cans of the Old El Paso, Old El Paso green chili and that's of course for our mexican we have mexican nights and then we have two small cans of the diced green chilies to add as well and then we have a 32 ounce can of the denti mora beef stew and on top we have two smaller cans and they are both 15 ounce each and we had the different sizes of the denti mora beef stew because not a not everybody likes it, the beef stew but then you know if you're just if you're the only one who was going to have it that day, then you'll grab a smaller can. And then if, you know, more than one person is going to have it, then we'll go for the bigger can. So it's nice to have the option of different sizes. Now, since I got through all the food items, now I'm excited to go ahead and show you what we got for our canning supplies. So we really stocked up and we've, we've been trying to, re, you know, replace the ones that we have been using. We wanted to make sure we add back in. So let's go ahead and start up here. Now, when it comes to doing salsa, we really do like the Mrs. Wages salsa and we bought one, two, three of the Mrs. Wages medium salsa. And I think they're 11.2, yeah, 11.2 ounce is the size. When we make the salsa, we do go ahead and add our own like peppers and onions and garlic to our salsa as well on top of the packet. And then we got two packets of the Mrs. Wages bread and butter refrigerator pickles. And then two, these are just a smaller packet of the Mrs. Wages medium salsa. Yeah, if you just want a small batch of salsa, this is like for six pounds of fresh tomatoes or about 18 medium. And also, I'm not sure if you guys know this about Mrs. Wages, but they also have a recipe for using fresh tomatoes or they tell you how to use canned tomatoes. So then you can make salsa, you can use store-bought tomatoes or you can use the t maybe the tomatoes you've canned you're already. So that is just diff some different ways you can make salsa using the Mrs. Wages product. And then let's go down here to, we got two packages of the kosher dill pickles to make. And then one, two, three, four, uh, pasta sauce with by Mrs. Wages. And now this sauce, we really did like the Mrs. Wages sauce. I know we had, um, it was more of a runnier type consistency when we have used it in the past. So comment down below and let us know if you know of a way that we can make it where it's not quite so thin or maybe why it, you know, it, didn't, it didn't turn out as thick as other pasta sauces. But it did have a really good taste though. So we went ahead and got four more packages of that to use with our tomatoes. Okay, so down here I do have 12 pint jars that are the wide mouth 
and I don't know how it is around where you guys live, but around here, anything wide mouth seems to be really hard to find. So I do have one case of the pints that are wide mouth, and then up here are just the half pint jars. They are the regular mouth, and they are for like our jams and our jellies. And we got one, two, three, four, five of the regular mouth lids. And then down here, we did find some quartz. We have two packages of quartz, but they are for regular mouth. They're not the wide. And then we have never used these lids. Please comment down below if, if you are a canner and you have ever used these Golden Harvest lids for your canning. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We, we got them simply because when we went for lids, we could not find any. So this is the brand that they did have. Um, but if you have ever used them, we really would like to know how they did for you when you come to your canning process. And then let's go over here. I got, I really like these half gallon jars. We've got one package of those. And then the Sure Gel, this is package of the low sugar or no sugar uh, Sure Gel. And then back here, we've never tried the liquid uh, pectin so we're kind of anxious to see how that is and then over here we got one two three four five six six cans of the sure gel pectin and that's just for the uh, that's the original kind and then we also are going to try whenever you tried the mrs wages fruit pectin so we're kind of excited to see how that one is and then over here we were able to find some of the ball uh wide mouth lids. We've got two packages of the wide mouth lids and then these are uh, packages of lids and rings or lids and bands however you want to call it. So we have 15 packages of these that's all in the box and then also two more so 17 um, of the regular mouth uh, lids and rings. We are using them not only for canning you know pressure canning water bath canning but then we're also using them for making ferments, using jars, lids, and rings for storing of our food, um, different like, you know, for rice and pastas and beans. So canning jars and lids are an awesome thing you need to have. Everyone needs to have in your home if you are prepping or if you are storing up food for your family. And the good thing about when you open up a jar of, say, your pasta, that lid and that ring is still good to go ahead and use in your canning projects, and so is the jar. Well, there you go, guys. There's everything I got at Walmart. Let us know down below in the comments what are some items that you are storing up for your family and ways that you're storing your food for long-term storage.